Hi everyone, this is Ken and welcome back to my channel. So I recently went on a trip to Boracay and I am sure that most of you are curious to see what it looks like now, especially after the six month closure that happened last year. We only stayed in Boracay for one day, so I wasn't really able to explore as much as I wanted, but I made sure to take as many photos and videos to share with you guys. So without further ado, here's the video. We took an AirAsia flight to Katiklan, and then when we landed at the airport, we were picked up by our, by our hotel transfer service. So they took us by a shuttle um, to get a speedboat ride. And then after the 15 minute speedboat ride, they picked us up again via shuttle to get to our hotel. The entire service um, costs around 1,475 pesos per person. So that's um, from the airport to the hotel and then to hotel back to the airport. We stayed at the Henan Garden Resort. So this is what their lobby looks like. The hotel was actually so much better than I expected it to be. Fortunately, um, during the time that we checked in, I think everyone was out at the beach. So I was able to take these uh, videos and these photos as if there were no guests around. So this is my room. This is the premier room and it's actually pretty big. It has all the standard amenities that you would expect from a hotel. It has the usually it has the rain shower, um, shower head, telephone type shower head, a bidet, hair dryer, the usual, and a bathtub too. So this is the view from the hotel balcony. I actually didn't want to leave the hotel anymore except that if you're in Boraca, you have to go to the beach because that's why you're there, right? So we took a walk down the strip. There weren't that many people as I expected. I was expected, I expected it to be more crowded, but it's actually pretty nice that there aren't that many people in Boracay yet. I got some souvenirs, of course. The refrigerator magnets were 50 pesos and the keychains were 8 for 100. We had lunch at Chachas. I really like the ambiance of Chachas. I also like their crab cakes, which are really good. And I also like their scallops, which are very fresh. This is the tres leches. So later that afternoon, um, we took a tricycle ride from Station 2 to Station 1. So I wanted to show you, uh, I guess you could call this the real Boracay, because usually we only see the pretty beach, right? I think this is the main road. So I just wanted to show you um, what it looks like. One thing that I noticed while I was in Boracay was all the construction that was going on. So everywhere you look, um, there were there was ongoing construction and uh, there were construction materials um, piled on the side of the road. So even outside our hotel, um, there were a few buildings that were being put up uh, under construction. And then even here while riding the tricycle, uh, you can see in a bit that there are a few construction materials that are just on the side of the road.
One thing that I actually did not expect to experience in Boracay was traffic. But we actually experienced traffic while riding on this tricycle. Um, at one point, we were stuck in place for around 20 minutes, not moving. This, um, we took a special tricycle, uh, so that costs 100 pesos from station 2 to station 1. But I think normally they said it only costs around 25 pesos per person if you take the regular, uh, regular tricycle. The main event of our trip to Boracay is actually this dinner hosted by Snake River Farms. Snake River Farms raises American Wagyu cattle and tonight we will be trying their best beef which is the gold grade Wagyu. This is our menu for the night. And here are the chefs preparing our delicious dinner. Here is the black beef arancini, which is ground wagyu encased in a rice ball and then fried. And here is the beef brisket ravioli, which is my personal favorite. My favorite dish of the night. Here we have the gold beef strip loin. And finally, we have the gold beef ribeye. Everything was delicious and cooked perfectly. For dessert, we had tiramisu. Our hotel stay includes a buffet breakfast and this is what the buffet area, a uh, buffet breakfast area looks like. So they actually had a lot of food and a lot of um, food stations for breakfast. After a wonderful stay, sadly, it was time to go back home. I'll add more information in the description box below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you next time! Hi, Hi we're on our way back to Manila. We really enjoyed Barakay. We 